Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC and in today's video we want to show you the things that we consider and a little bit more in detail what we do before we shear our rabbits. So one of the things you'll notice is there's not much hay. So before we go to shear the rabbits, we're not going to put too much uh, vegetation in there that can get stuck in their wool. This rabbit has a little bit stuck, you can see in the back of their wool, this little buck. This little rabbit has just a teensy bit stuck in the back, nothing too much. There's not a lot of vegetation in here. And this is another little buck. We have one doe to take a look at. So this little doe back there, you can see her just a little bit and she has uh, not much vegetation. But when we're looking at these three rabbits, there's there's a few things to consider. So we wanted to limit the amount of hay and vegetation that can get stuck in their wool. Just limit it uh, before we're shearing it. It only has to be a couple days before they're shearing. It doesn't have to be anything serious. And so the the rabbits, are, these bunnies are all the same age. So if you're thinking about, if you have a litter of rabbits and you're thinking about shearing the, the bunnies and which bunny are you gonna keep and trying to evaluate wool, one of the things that I do, this was a litter of six, there's three that I have. One of the things that I'll do is I will wait and compare, um, compare some of the rabbits together. So what I'm looking for is without a lot of effort, what is the quality of their wool? So how much matting happens underneath back here? So this is a mat right here. This is a mat I can feel. And then there's a little bit of matting just towards the tip, the edge of the wool right here. There's that little mat. That's not, that's not towards the skin. So I just kind of want to see and take a look at, you can look at color. But you kind of compare the rabbits and you can look at length. So you also look underneath the rabbit. Does the rabbit keep themselves clean in their tail area? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. What are you doing? You cannot let it go. Watch it. He smells his brother. So and that's something you have to be careful of when you touch a rabbit and touch another. Right away I noticed this rabbit has much, this buck, has much longer wool growth than the other buck. He's a little jump here. So he's got a little he's got a little wool right there. A little bit of matting. You can see you can see he you hear him grunting a little. So you can see he's got uh, that little mat right there. That little mat right there. There's just a few, but this is much longer wool growth in this buck. So I like what I see for wool growth in length. These are the same age rabbits, but right now I like what I see on this rabbit better. He's got a little ant in there, which happens when you feed them greens. You can get all sorts of things, but much, much longer wool. You just feel the rabbit, you can feel the density. This little buck has good density, better than the other little buck for, uh, for length, for sure. Um, we look at matting and I feel again, I feel be behind the ears, between the ears. I see this guy's got a little bit of matting right here because there's vegetation that's, that got stuck in there. And vegetation can cause matting. So there's a difference between Angora rabbits who have wool that mats on its own. And there's a difference between Angora rabbits who have wool that is matting as a result of getting something in there such as vegetation. And so you want to be mindful when you're evaluating the wool on your rabbits, you want to be mindful of that. So we, we talked about length in this guy. Now I'm going to show you something else that I see. So this is crimp. We're looking at crimp. So he has, I right away I noticed he's got some, some good crimp. He couldn't, his crimp could be better. When I look at this coat, this isn't, for me, this is not enough. This is not enough crimp. This is, again, the baby coat, though. This is, however, the baby coat. This is not an adult coat. 
So evaluating the wool of a baby coat is different than evaluating the wool of an adult coat because a baby coat is is not an adult coat. And again, there's, uh, there's a very good long-term study that was done discussing how to, if you're gonna raise Angora rabbits for a while, this study discusses how to accurately do that. And we did make a different video um, in the past about, you know, when you're about that particular study. So we're looking at crimp again. Let's see if you can see some crimp right here. Get that piece out of there. Some crimp right here. You can see we've got uh, little red squirrels running around on the roof. So this guy's wool we very much like better. He's got less matting. Again, just this. Here's a little mat that's that's on the tip. It can just be taken off. It's on the tips of the wool. So this is um, very easy to take care of. Very, very easy. So you'd want to flip the rabbit over as well and you want to take a look. You can actually tell his wool is kind of hanging underneath the cage too. Hi, you smell your brother. So we take a look at that. So right now just between those two bucks and I take a look at these two bucks and I say okay I like this one for length, I like this one for crimp better, I like that one for density better. However, um, you know, he, <laughs> that guy's jumping around too now. However, um, it is his baby coat. Hello, dude. Let's see you. Let's see what we've got here. So let's get a better look. Whoop. Let's just take this out. There you go. So he's pretty wild. <laughs> he's pretty excited this morning got lots of hopping to do um, when I felt him I do like his the color of his eyes better he has marbled blue eyes but again he's I see some a little bit of matting up there that's not what I want to see for a coat I, I really don't want to see any matting in fact and I would want to see more wool growth so I'm picking them up and I'm moving him to a table so if he's getting feisty in his pen, one of the tricks is I can take him out of his pen, which is his spot, and I'm gonna move him to my spot. Because now he's not, this is not his. This is not his domain, this is my domain. So right away I can see there's, there is, you know, there's not as much length in this little dude's wool. I wanna see better length. I'm looking for crimp. The crimp is, it's there. He has crimp, certainly, but it's just not what I want to see. I want to see a bit better on this guy. And the, again, these are in the same litter. These are these are brothers. There's a little bit of crimp right here I can see. Um, he, I think he has a bit more of a docile personality, actually. He's got a little bit of vegetation in this wall. But this matting that I have right here that I can feel, that's normal. However, if I have a buck, if I have his brother and so he's pretty clean between the legs. Oh, he has a marigold seed stuck to him. But if I have his brother, who I like his wool better, then I'm certainly more inclined to keep his brother. So you, you evaluate personality. Again, I didn't wash my hands between touching these two. I'm wearing the same clothes between touching these two. These two are bucks. This is an energetic time in the morning for them. They're very active. So now we go to the third, this little doe, and we have Mariah Carey here too. She had a, she has a little bit of wool growth coming in up here. So this is, uh, this is her little doe, a little harlequin, a Vienna marked harlequin. And let's take her out. We'll just grab her, that's what you're watching. I'm gonna set her down and close this up. Here we go. So let's take a look at this little girl. 
What do we have here? So she lived with her mom. When you have a rabbit that lives with another rabbit, you may notice different things like uh, some rabbits chew on other rabbits' wool. Hi. So I'm looking the same thing. I'm looking at their cheeks. How much matting do we have here? Because if there's a lot of matting on the baby coat, I, baby coats are notoriously hard to keep to keep uh, track of. But that's not something I want to see in any coat, even though it's going to happen. It's going to happen in baby coats. Got a little bit of a of a mat, teeny mat right here, just on the tip on the edge, and another little one starting. Handling your rabbits can help with this. So here's a teeny teeny tiny mat. When you handle your rabbits, no lady, come on now. When you handle your rabbits and you pet your rabbits and you simply take the time to remove those little mats right away, they don't grow into big mats. Now when I pet her right away, I can tell I like the feel of this wool. I really like the feel of her coat because this doesn't feel as severe with guard hair. The others, I can feel the guard hair even with the baby coat, it feels different. So I really like the softness of what I'm feeling. I really like that there's, there's, she does not have the matting right here. I like that a lot. She's a very curious bunny. Now let's just gently lift her up. I'm gonna set the camera down for a minute. All right. So you can kind of see in her tail area, she does have a little bit of a plant vegetation right there. When you have plant vegetation, it can lead to, I'm gonna set the camera down. When you have plant vegetation, it can lead to a bit of matting again. We'll set her down. You guys get crazy camera views today. So we didn't keep them separated for a long time. We don't want to. We don't want Mariah Carey getting angry at her, you know. She likely smells of her brother. She likely smells of Buck. Mariah Carey's gonna smell that. And um, we re I really like what I see with this doe a lot. Not too much, I don't see, I didn't see too much crimp when I was looking briefly, but really the feel of that is very, very nice. The Buck, her brother, I like the crimp of it. So you're using your eyes, you're looking for mats, you're using, you're looking for crimp, you're looking and feeling with your hands. You're feeling the, the density. You're looking at the length with your eyes. With your hands, you're feeling the softness or how does the actual wool feel in a baby coat. And so what we can do, which gets kind of cool, is if we were to keep all three of these babies a little bit longer and trim them up, we're gonna give them their trim, then we're gonna let their adult coat come in. We literally do the same thing. You go through the entire same process. So you go through the process of looking and feeling and one of the things I'm, you know, I'm breeding for a couple different things, but ease of care, ease of how you take care of that Angora's coat is one of the things we're looking for. We don't want an Angora coat that requires daily or even weekly care. I don't want weekly care in Angora coat because it is time that gets, um, it's just time that I, I don't want to spend, that's not how I want to spend time with my rabbit. I want to spend time enjoying my rabbit. I want them hopping around in their little exercise pens and their exercise yard. And <laughs> So Mariah Carey is chinning her daughter, by the way, but we're kind of all over the map here. So yeah, for these rabbits, we really spend time, we look at their coat and we pay attention to it. We also pay attention to their personality. We want rabbits that are easy to handle. We don't rab we don't want rabbits that are going to bite us. None of these rabbits bit us. We don't want rabbits that are going to be aggressive towards us. When handling these rabbits, um, this little dude was pretty kind. No, and this little dude, he was a bit more of the. He, you know, he was a bit more paying attention to what's going on. Was he aggressive? No, but he was definitely, this was his space. And you could tell because when I was reaching in to touch him and use my hand, he, he wasn't just hopping to me and letting me pet him and do whatever I wanted. He was really interested in my hand at first. So 
Anyways, hopefully this video helps you determine and think about when you're evaluating your baby rabbits for their wool and you're thinking about giving them a haircut and you're thinking about which, which baby bunnies you're gonna keep. These are all considerations and things you can look at, things you can do that will help you decide what to do.